So I love meditation and I know that a lot of people find it super intimidating and um, I think I did for a long time too. Like it took me a long time to warm up to it and oddly I embarked on my sort of venture into meditation with monks because <laughs> I was like, hmm, like I'm not, I don't know where to start with this myself so I'm just gonna go live with them and and see if I can figure this out kind of thing and I lived with monks for a while trying to meditate and I could not tame my mind um, and I was like in the setting like in a mountain like nothing to do um, it was almost worse like I felt like my mind was even busier in that setting uh, and it wasn't until I did uh, an immersive meditation course it was called a vipassana retreat where for 10 days you don't eat much and you can't talk the entire time and you sit in meditation for like 10 hours a day get up at 4 30 with a bell um so i did that in nepal and that did really help me to start meditating now i'm not saying you have to do that like a lot of people can take like a two-day course at the um tm center or the transcendental meditation center or the kripalu center or something like that or take a weekend vipassana course um, and then have a coach that helps you get into it you can also self-teach or just listen to a um like a meditation app or something but cultivating like a quiet seated meditation practice is is incredibly powerful the reason why i meditate is to really tap into um another world essentially like I want to get outside of my head which just is like a bunch of noise a lot of the time and 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 my head like creates thoughts that aren't necessarily true and are affected by how much sleep I get what I eat if I had caffeine right so you got to be really careful about paying too much attention or giving too much power to your thoughts because a lot of the time they're nonsense um, so I meditate to get away from the thoughts like I become the observer and I watch the thoughts cross through my head like clouds kind of passing by in the sky without getting attached to them without um, getting emotional about them I can just kind of watch them pass so I like practicing doing that and I have a coach who actually says it's like meditation is how you connect with the divine um, like you are able to really connect with another space and get in touch with answers that you wouldn't be in touch with otherwise and not to be like woo woo like okay i'm going to talk to you know spirits from another realm or something like that but more so like you can't make a decision and you can't figure out what you're going to do next but if you just quiet your mind sometimes the answer just comes from somewhere else so i have been a meditator for over a decade and I like to do it regularly because I find that it really keeps me grounded, it keeps me clear, it keeps me in touch with um, my own truth and helps me find answers and make, make decisions um, more easily. And um, if I ever go astray on the meditation practice, I just bring it back, it's that simple. And it could be like two, three minutes, five minutes um, in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever I have time, it doesn't have to be a lot, just has to be like at least reasonably regularly done to start really noticing the benefits. So highly recommend, try it out.